Hi, good day folks. Um, this is just a really quick video to uh, demonstrate just one method of recovering a corrupt um, H501S files, uh, video files, which have um, been corrupted um, due to not being saved correctly um, when you uh, power off the quad accidentally before you stop the video. So we're going to use a utility um, developed by Slidermon um, called Recover MP4. So firstly, a very quick uh, background to the problem. Um, the H501S and the C both record in MOV, which is a QuickTime or uh, an Apple format. And um, MOV is what we call a containerized video format. And it saves different elements of the video and audio, color, luminance, all that sort of stuff, together in individual containers. And these elements, Apple call them atoms, are there continuously saved to memory, in this case the SD card. Uh, but their position on that in, within memory is, um, in the container, is, is recorded in a header file, the movie header atom. And uh, this header information is not saved until you stop the video um, by pressing, in the H501 instance, the record button to stop it. So unfortunately, if you um, power off the quad before you've stopped the video, then the header information is never saved to disk. So basically the file becomes unplayable because a player doesn't know what to do with it. It can see the data there, but it has no idea of where in that file the video part of it were, is or the audio part, etc. So without a header, basically a player cannot play a um, file of this type. So we overcome this then by um, recovering a header from a known good video and applying it to the bad video. And um, this utility that we're going to use makes this quite straightforward, although some find it a little bit confusing because it's command line driven. So that's basically all I'm going to show you today. Um, so, I mean, this, this is not a unique issue with hubs and this happens with all MOV, MP4 files, etc. So let's go then to stage one of the process. Um, you can see in this directory from June this year, we've got two um, files here with thumbnails which don't show any video. And if we try and play them with Windows Media Player, well, we get Windows Media Player cannot play the file. And that's because these files have been unfinalized. So let's go and get the um, utility then. So we'll go to Slider Man, um, Recover MP4. And down the bottom of this page, you'll see there's a couple of links to the zip file. Uh, download that zip. And I've already unzipped it. And I've got to put, I've put it in a directory called um, H501 Recover. And I'm going to work from this directory and do everything from this directory to make life easy. Um, because there's certain file names and paths you need to put in. And by having everything in one directory, it makes the syntax much, much simpler. You don't need to do this. You can put the files wherever you want, but you're going to have to specify where they are on your um, particular drive. So you see there's a couple of application files, recover MP4 and recover MP4 64. And the 64 is the 64-bit one, which I'm going to use because I'm running on a 64-bit operating system on a machine. Uh, if you've got an older machine, you might want to have, to, or you might have to use the standard one. So go back to the raw data again, and we can see um, we have a smallish file here. So we'll move it up into our working directory, as I mentioned before. And then we also need a good a video file. So I'll pick the smaller of the two, um, which I can't remember, that's three gig almost, it's not that one. Yep, that's the 600 meg. So move that one then up into our working directory as well. So that's it, we've got two files, a good one and a bad one. And that's all we need for this process. Um, now to make life easy, let's just rename these. Uh, I can't remember which one's which. Change, okay. Um, the good one obviously shows with the thumbnail. So let's rename that um, a good, funnily enough. There we go. and. We'll just rename this one bad, because this is the broken one. Okay, so on with that, we can then go on to the next stage, which is analyze the good uh, video and extract the header information from it. So if we shift and right mouse click in this window, we'll get a little pop-up and it says open command window here, which is what we've done. And then we just need to type in the recover analyzing command. 
So it's just recover MP4 underscore X64 if you're on 64-bit machine. If not, leave that bit off. It'll work anyway, whichever way you do it. Um, and then space, and then the source. In this case, it's going to be um, the good one, which we've re renamed. So it's good uh, dot MOV, and then space, space, analyze. So this will then look at the header information on this file and compare it with where the date is and work out how this file has been put together. So I've done that hit return and immediately you can see we have created two new files. We've got an audio.header and a video.header. So those are the two files we're going to use in this next stage of the process which is to actually recover the bad video and against the same command recover mp4 and this time it's the source is the bad MOV. You can see now why we um, renamed these. And the output is going to be called fixed in this instance. You can call it whatever you want, and that's an H.264 file. It also create a WAV file, but again, that's just going to be full of noise, so it's of no use whatsoever. So follow those with all those switches that I put in below, and hit return, and it's already gone and done it, and it's created a fixed file, which looks like a video file, but it's not shown in the thumbnail, and a fixed WAV, which is the audio which I said, which doesn't actually really exist within the file, so that's just uh, full of noise, and can be deleted. Um, so this fixed one shows the VLC um, icon, and you can see it's a VLC player, and it's got an extension of H.264, and VLC player will play 264 files, and learn, lo and behold, look, this time when I click on it, it shows a video of me crashing in the grass. So there we are. Proves a couple of things that I can crash and that the video works. So, um, unfortunately, although it's playable within um, the VLC player, it's not playable in media in Windows Media Player or any of many of the other players because it needs to package to be packaged up into a uh, a format which is uh, generally acceptable, like MP4 or MOV or AVI. So to do that, we go to stage two, and we go to ffmpeg.org, uh, go to their download link, and uh, we're assuming you're working on Windows again here, so go to the Windows option, um, select Windows Bills, and we'll then download ffmpeg. And again, I've already done that, and I've zipped it, and I've put it into a directory called ffmpeg. Straightforward enough, I use this quite a lot. So I've also moved this fixed file that we've just created in the last process into this directory to make life easy for us. Just checking that's the right one and it's still running okay in VLC player. And again, we'll do the right, uh, right mouse click while we hold down shift and we get the open command window here prompt, select that. And then we just type in the single command that we need for this process. Now you notice I just pasted that in, that's because I've already copied it and I'll put these links below in the video so you can do the same. Uh, just paste the command directly into your window and um, it's going to create a fix.mov um, from this. So we've hit return, it's done its business and immediately you can see up pops a little thumbnail of what looks like a video. And if we look at the properties of that, we'll see that this is now an MOV video file. So we've created an MOV wrapper around the H.264. And so this is now playable, as you can see, in VLC player. And it should also be playable in any of the other players. So if I try with um, Windows Media Player, which we know didn't work before. There we go. No error message this time. And that works perfectly. Okay. So hopefully that's of some use. If you'd like it, uh, please donate to Sliderman. He's put a lot of effort into this, so drop a couple of dollars in his box. And um, hopefully that will um, sort you all out. Thanks for watching.